Okay, we live right here. House of Keith London. Bringing out some hens right now. They just We're, laid. They, they, yeah, so. they just laid, so they got to <laughs> let it go. But <laughs> at the same time, he's going to give me a quick overview on type and how to distinguish show type from performance type because there is a difference. So he's lining up the hens right now. And... Uh, I'll leave it up to him to explain and divulge all the different characteristics and qualities that define type. So, let's hold on and let him grab some more hens and he's going to take it from there. Beautiful tortoise shell. Real nice dark checker. White flight as you can see. They both look like the type to me, but We'll see what Keith has to say. <laughs> this is not to say that this type is the, what type is the best type. Okay. What you want to try to do is, when it comes to type, is try to breed birds that's consistent in type, mm -hmm. but it got to lend to your, your birds to give you the highest performance possible. Right. The smoothest performance possible. And what you notice is, the easier it is for the bird to do it, get into it without any struggles, the more it, 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 it'll be apt to do it. Right. So it's got to like to do it. It's got to like to roll. Or, or just be simple. Be simple. Okay. You don't really know if they really like to do it, but it got to be easy for them to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, um, you're not trying to say which type is the best. It's like, it's just whatever type is best to fit your family of pigeons, pretty much. Right. That's, 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 the, real, that's the real deal right there. But okay. there are some common things you need to worry about which is apple body okay. basic apple body <clears throat> and some birds gonna be a little longer taller longer but the apple body part is still gonna probably remain the same right some birds a little more deeper in kill deeper in kill what i mean when i say that is you relax, relax. Okay. from the the base of the neck right here okay to the deepest part of the kill Mm -hmm. Right here. You know, right. Some birds are shallow, some birds are deeper. And that's okay. that's depending on my family. I, I like more medium to a little bit on the edge of going to be deeper kill and shallow. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these are sisters. They're the not sisters. even the same. But they, right. this one's this one's super fast. This one I call um a torpedo. Okay. Wow. She be good. Medicine. But, and if you hand, you look at them, they, don't, they look different, but they handle almost the same. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. I can see the similarities as far as the you know body structure. Yeah. I can tell they struck. They they. they, they got another one which is like their cousin. Okay. All these cousins, they all relate. Well, all the birds relate anyway. Okay. But it's the red grizzle hen. I um, I, I just posted up on that um, that with the QSDC thing. She's the mother to her. Okay. And the grandmother. Grandmother to all of them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, later. This one is what I call more of my ideal. This one is really nice. This is a real nice bird in here. This bird was like effortless. So I like them right. effortless birds. Yeah, just snap into just it. Go just right into right it, real into smooth, it. out of it, no problem. Mm -hmm. And I noticed when you reached in to get her, she was just really, really calm and, you know. And this one right here is about the same, but just a little more, a little deeper. Okay. This one right here, just a little deeper. But it's like when, when their type is the same, when you get the same type, this is what happens. Mm -hmm. It's easier for the birds to get the same wing beat. Because their type is close to the same, so their wing beat remains the same. So you have some birds flying fast, some flying slow, and stuff like that. You want to have them all pretty much flying the same. Okay. Now, type don't make them roll. Okay. Bad type don't keep them from rolling. Okay. But a nice, even type to make it so everybody responds the same way. Same wing beat, um, same fly speed, mm -hmm. and so forth. All right. Now, you see some guys, go to some guys' house and their birds be, they never really get together. Right, right. If you go have any birds, they're all over the place as far as type. Some big, some long, some short. Mm -hmm. There's no consistency. That's why I have some birds want to fly fast, some want to turn a lot. I mean, all that got. Type, type helps all that. 
Right, plays Training does like too. Okay. And selection does too, but type is one of the main things you want to go by. If you get your type right and your birds are, are sound rollers, sound meaning safe, mm-hmm. you should be all Stay right. Well. I mean, you, you should be able to go a little further than most most guys. Okay. All right. So when birds are off type, it's like taking a a perfectly round ball, mm-hmm. throwing spin it, throwing the air, and it, you never can tell it just, it's just up and down. When it's off, it's wobbly. That's right. what happens when the birds roll. When it's off, they, it never seems smooth. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. And, I, and I take a long time to watch, watch some birds roll smooth and some don't. So then we start paying attention to type because this bird killed deep in the straight. The body, the the body. Some birds, you feel the kill mm-hmm. like this from your body. Mm-hmm. Like hers goes up. And my, yeah. Like so my fingers don't yeah, I, I can see that. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Some birds go straight. So that would be like the pitch of the kill. Some birds go straight. I mean, if they're all like that, it's different. Then they, they can respond the same. Okay. So you don't want flat kill, long kill, short kill. Short kill, long got pitch is all right. Okay. Yeah. That's a beautiful torque right there. Okay. Yeah, that's why you use her. You want to get her back. Mm. You want to try to keep her. You say, man, you keep that to me. No, no, no. Yeah, two years later, now my turn. Oh wow, yeah. He was at the show what to do with it. Okay, so um I guess if we were, you know, judging these four hens right here, you know, how would how would they how would it'd they be, be placed? Tough, it'd be it'd, I said it'd, I was gonna it'd, say it'd be, it'd be really tough. tough, you know. But what what would be the defining factor in mm-hmm. most of these birds right here, it would be temperament. She got the best temperament yes, of all of them. Yes. And then her and then I think this one. Mm-hmm. This hen since she Sometimes she's straight and sometimes she's, she's not. She's mm-hmm. a nice bird. Right. And this is her sister. She's not as bad as her. This okay. one flew in the kit longer. Okay. This one did. I took this one out when it's big. I had one, two, three. I had four of these in the kit. Okay. I had one look like her with a white feather and a bronze chest. Mm hmm. was super awesome. Okay. The next, when I flew her one day, Cooper chased her down and caught her. So the next day, it was a cop, a brother. But I thought it, it looked just like this. I thought it was a hen. Mm-hmm. Took his tail, falcon took the tail out, and parked the wing, and dove in the neighbor's yard. And it stayed. I couldn't, I looked there, I couldn't find it nowhere. Mm-hmm. In the evening time, it flew up over the gate and came right over here. And I stopped flying him. Okay. But I thought it was a hen. Mm-hmm. So as he started getting old, he started getting wider. And I thought, it's a cop. So. Then these two are still a kiss, so then I just I'm gonna keep keep them. Cause the, their daddy, which is the velvet cock, right? He was okay. he start hitting and missing. Okay. So I see. I see now. I see where it stems from. You know, because the, the they don't the have velvet champ. Okay. At all. Mm. No, he's. I mean, I, I, I didn't breathe for him. Like he just came out like that. Right. They get more like my mother's side, I guess. But yeah. anyway, tight man. Type is so tricky. Two things are really hard to read. Type and expression. Expression, okay. that got to come with, oh, shit. I come with experience. But I, I, I used to see expression when I was a kid going to Red Wing buying pigeons. I used to go in the cage and look at them cages, and I put on a check look like this with no mm-hmm. band. Mm-hmm. Remember, why are you putting out that commie? I say no commie. I, mean, I, just, <laughs> I, I, I just can see it. Right, Taking right. Bird is dropping. Okay. And they buy these birds, these PRC bands, and these right, PRC right. Bands, and they birds popping, and doing fives. Right, right. And I just, I was able to see it as a kid. Okay, so that's it. That's a natural gift, and I, if I can say, I've, I've, I've done that too. <laughs> you know. Oh yeah, she is right just here. like totally. Yeah, she's really straight. Yeah. Oh, the grit. Okay. Right, right. Yeah, she. I like her. She, oh she yeah, really she nice. looks like she, she feels like one little solid piece yeah. in your hand. Just okay. But as far as speed wise, them two got these two. Okay. But overall, I think they was better, better kit birds. Mm-hmm. So my boy flew this bird. Not, not. He was flying this kit, and now to tell him to stock it. Yeah, so stock that for me. Okay. Uh, but I let him breed it for two for, since since two thousand end of two thousand eighteen all the way till I got it back early this early last year, late last year. Well, let me ask you, how would you how would you judge your uh, her quality, you know what I'm saying? It definitely. I mean, looks, I I'm mean, gonna tell you like, tell y'all like this. One thing, quality is always number one. Style is always number one. Okay. If I pull a bird in, there's no way I'm gonna pull a bird in if the question, if the quality is questionable, it's not gonna come in. Right. So, for a future, you guys do not have to ask me that. Okay. 
if, if the quality ain't there, I'm not going to put it on. I don't care how fast it is, how deep it is. If the style ain't there, I'm not pulling it in. Period. Exactly. So that's one thing cut. I'm not going to. I'm not going to take a chance with that at all. I will take a chance with frequency mm-hmm. or some birds that might be a little hot or, or deep. Never quality. Never quality. Or speed. Okay. I don't need all my birds to be a blur. I mean, I'll take a 1.7 pigeon as long as do everything else perfect. Right. And okay. kittens, I don't, I don't, I don't, that is, I don't compromise kittens. Kind of kidding. Kidden okay. style, I do not <clears throat> compromise at all. Okay. So those are the two main <clears throat> ingredients. Kidding. They ain't kidding, I don't care. And style. Oh, I mean, that bird don't do that, but once upon his life, he was doing that, and he would never get in the loft. Mm-hmm. He'd been a kid bird all his life. Okay. So, style all right. is automatic. Okay. I mean, it got to have a good style. Good Wings style. got to be high, high X. I mean, like, high. Yeah, like, like, like straight up. Yeah, straight X. up. H or mm-hmm. closing in. That's closing it. in. Okay. A pattern birds. You gotta figure out why birds were. I'm the birds were a pattern. A, the a pattern. Do this. Those are birds usually a little wider in the chest, a mm-hmm. little shorter. Mm-hmm. Most of the time, those are a, a birds. Okay. Cause for a bird, only time a bird's wings really, really touch is under is here. Mm-hmm. Like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. And they, and right here. Position of the bird. This way. You see, it's almost impossible for the birds to curve in, right? Because of where their wings are, the way unless they turn right. this way, right? Right. Okay. But they don't curve in. Mm-hmm. That's why I see the X sometimes, right? At the bottom, okay. and they, they, this way, they, this way, it tips. It's just mm-hmm. like this. Kind of like they like this. Okay. And the faster they spin, the more like this top end bound like that. Okay. It's like an illusion. Optical right, illusion. An optical illusion. Okay, so he just broke down the dynamics of the spin. And so, how the dudes got to be honest with that because the way the bird swings over their back, they don't, they actually have to go up and turn their wings in this way to be able to be on top of their back. Mm hmm. That's just what they made. Yeah, and that, that that's where the type comes in because they have the right type. So they automatically have most of the time the correct wing placement and and, 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 and the speed, you know, the velocity always to go with it. Watch, watch birds. And then they say, wing because you only see the wing position from t- from front or back or straight from the bottom. Right. That's the only way you see wing position. I mean, as far as where it really is. Okay. The hole, you ain't gonna see it from the side, and the bird got me off the angle right here. Because if it's up there, you ain't gonna see you it. You ain't gonna see it. Right. Even if we right here, mm-hmm. look in the hole right here, you keep the camera there, and you go up 